This is the Quechua 2 seconds fresh and black 2 person tent. This is the 3 person version and in this video, I'll be going through all the differences between these two tents. Both tents have the exact same setup process, both pop open in 30 seconds and have 4 loops for staking out the tent, 7 loops for 7 guy lines and 2 vents. For the 2 person tent, the entire setup took me 3 minutes. As for the 3 person tent, the entire setup took me 3.5 minutes, so 30 seconds longer because it's a bigger tent. As for the takedown, it took me about 3 minutes to take down the 2 person tent, and about 3.5 minutes to take down the 3 person tent. The 2 person pop up tent has a length of 81 inches and a width of 51 inches. It fits two regular pads or a double sleeping pad perfectly, but could not fit a full sized camping mattress, let alone a queen sized mattress because the width is too narrow. On the other hand, while the three person tent also has the same length of 81 inches, it has a wider width of 76 inches. This fits three regular pads perfectly or a double pad plus a regular pad. This is my Xped Mega Med Duo 10 and a C to Summit pad in my three person tent. I also inflated an almost queen size camping mattress inside the tent and it fit perfectly in terms of length with a little room left over at the side. It's enough to fit a little bit of camping gear but not enough to fit another regular pad. This almost queen sized Alps Mountaineering Vertex mattress measures about 6 inches thick and I found that it was okay to use this mattress in the tent. When I sit upright, my head touches the top of the tent, but when I sit naturally with a little bit of slouch, I feel perfectly fine. I wouldn't recommend a mattress higher than this though. When I tried inflating an 8 inch Coleman mattress inside my 2 person tent, I felt a little bit claustrophobic. Decathlon actually recommends a maximum loft of 2.4 inches actually, which was very roomy for me. Of course, the lower the height of your mattress, the more livable space you'll have. The peak height at the front of the 3 person tent is about 39 inches, while the lowest height at the back is about 32 and a half inches. As for the 2 person tent, the peak height is about 38 inches, while the lowest height is about 29 inches, so slightly lower across the entire tent compared to the 3 person version. The 2 person tent weighs about 7.2 pounds for just the 2 seconds tent and carry bag alone, while the 3 person tent weighs about 8.8 .8 pounds for the tent and carry bag, which is only about 20% heavier. If you want to add in the weight of the 9 stakes and 5 guy lines, that's about 0.7 pounds. The 2 person tent has a packed size of 27 by 27 by 7 inches, while the 3 person tent has a packed size of 31 by 31 by 8 inches, so that's about 50% bigger when I calculated it, but honestly, it doesn't look 50% bigger to me. Here's what the 3 person tent looks like compared to the 2 person tent, and if you want to compare them against a Coleman 2 person sundome tent, here they are. I paid only about 20 bucks more for the 3 person tent than I did for the 2 person tent. As for the other features like the door, window, vents, bathtub flooring, blackout feature and more, both tents have the exact same features. Of course, the door, window and vents are slightly bigger in the 3 person tent than in the 2 person tent. Overall, I think that I like the 3 person tent better. It's not a whole lot more expensive and it doesn't weigh very much heavier as well. At the same time, I like that I have a little more versatility with it. I can fit 3 people inside the tent or a queen sized camping mattresses with some leftover space for gear, while I can't even fit a full size mattress inside the 2 person tent. You also get a couple more inches of height. The 3 person tent offers more value for money for sure and if weight and packed size isn't a key consideration for you, I highly recommend the 3 person tent instead of the 2 person version. To find out how these two tents compare against 5 other best pop up tents in the market, check out this video on the best pop up tents right here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.